whatever happened to the subject matter fields in the back end of our Amazon listings? And if you can still see them on some listings, can you still index for those keywords? Hey, this is Nick Hodge with Sellers Arena. And in this video, I'm not only gonna show you how you can still index for these keywords, but I'm gonna show you how you can do it even if you can't see the fields in the back end of your Amazon listing. A few years back, it used to be pretty simple as far as how you optimize the keywords for SEO purposes on Amazon's algorithm. You know, basically you make sure you have all your good keywords in your title, and then you go over here to the description tab, you fill in, you know, good keyword, rich copy, making sure you're including as many good keywords as possible. You do your, your key product features uh, as many as possible there. And then you go over and you go to here and you fill in your search terms. But then later on, we learned also that there were some additional fields that aren't here now that this is the main point of this video. Those were the subject matter fields. And this was in an additional place where you can include additional actual phrases, unlike the search terms where you don't want to repeat anything in here. You're just looking for, you're just trying to put in additional individual actual words that maybe you couldn't fit into your listing or title, et cetera. So this is kind of the spillover to make sure you can cover all the bases in this section here with those additional words. But then there is another section, again, the subject matter where you don't put in those individual words you couldn't fit. You put in the individual phrases you couldn't fit. Now I'm just showing you this section too, because it's like, yeah, it's not here. It's not here for this product and a lot of others. There's few and far between. There are some that still actually show the subject matter fields, but most that I've seen lately do not. Okay, so the thing is, what did it look like before? It was actually five different fields and you could actually add up to 50 characters in each one. So say for example, if you were selling a product like black plastic knives, you could put in the subject matter. If you couldn't fit it in your copy, in the, in the main copy, in the, main, in the listing area, you could put in black plastic knives for kitchen or black plastic knives for a birthday. Okay, so you could put in those phrases that you couldn't fit in the listing. Uh, you can be repetitive here, up to 50 characters, characters, not words, in those additional fields. And after you did that, they would index on Amazon. So what I'm gonna show you right now is a way you can actually still put in keywords to the subject matter. You won't see them, you won't be actually able to do it on Amazon, but using Helium 10's new listing builder tool, which is in beta right now, this function is already working, working really well. It's been tested many times already. If you actually use their subject matter fields within the listing builder and you sync it to your listing, that's the way the listing builder works. Actually, you can fill in all the different parts of your listing. And let me jump into an example here and then sync it to Amazon. So let's just take a look at this product here. This is just a sample product of a staple popper. And so if we scroll down here, you know, you've got the bullet points. You would fill all these things in, fill in the title. If you are getting into Helium 10, I mean, they go over actually how to you know do everything here and sync it to your listing and how you can use this to make sure you have all the best keywords in your listing, stuff like that. Kind of like scribbles, if you've ever used Helium 10 at all. Uh, we'll go into other videos about actually how you can use this in more detail, but I just wanna show you this specific feature right now. Okay, so you fill in all your bullet points, fill in your description, and again, all the while, this is helping you make sure you get the best keywords that actually crosses them off as you enter in your copy. So it's really cool. Um, so let's keep on scrolling down here, big description field, et cetera. And then you have your search terms, so you put those in here. Again, it will scratch them off as you go. It makes some suggestions of what to put in there. And then you have the subject matter fields. You could add more fields just like this in the Amazon backend. Okay, and so you have up to five fields of 50 characters each. So that's what they've kind of replicated here. This is the idea. So if you were doing the staple remover as your product, you could repeat keywords, but the idea is to get all the different phrases. It's fine to repeat keywords. You just want to make sure you're getting all the keywords that you couldn't fit into your main copy here. Okay. So say we didn't actually get all these keywords in our listing yet. I would think if we were selling a staple remover, we would have that on our copy, but just for the sake of this example. So, and so you can see how this works. If you haven't used this before, I'll just go ahead and type in staple remover tool. 
hit that. So we got stable remover tool and you can see it automatically cross both of those off. This is also counting your characters for you. So we can just keep on going down the list, carpet, staple, remover, tool. Okay, now you can see here we've gone over. So what I would do here is just take that cut and put that on the next line. See, that's why we have those five different fields and maybe you find a different one that's shorter so you can take advantage of that last few characters here. But yeah, just fill as many as you can. I mean, likely you're gonna have most of your good phrases in the list, but again, if you want, you can double down on those main keywords and just throw them in here. If you've already, if there's just no additional ones, you just use this space to kind of have more, uh, a little bit more keyword density in your listing, kind of repeat those keywords a little bit if you have to. I highly recommend making use of the space either way, just to make sure you're doing the best you can to be as relevant as possible for those main keywords, those most important keywords for your product. And you're showing Amazon that this is what the product is and make sure you're giving me traffic for these keywords. Once you fill in the rest of your stuff in, when you sync this, you won't see the uh, subject matter fields in this, but I mean, this is something you can test if you like. Try, you know, including a keyword into your subject matter field and then seeing it to your listing, do a before and after, you know, try to see if you're indexing for it first and then put it in the subject matter then actually go and sync it. And then you can do the index checker within Helium 10. Also the, uh, the index checker tool, you can check it there and you should see it pop up as, as positive as, yep, it's now indexing. But then you could also go to Amazon and check and see if you're actually, your product's now showing up for that specific new keyword also. So yeah, guys, definitely give this a try. And I'm gonna put a link down in the description below for 50% off your first month of Helium 10. You can check that out. And yeah, let me know in the comments how it goes. If you got some value out of this video, be sure to leave me a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.